Hey guys. <clears throat> it's me, obviously. I was hoping that I didn't have to make this video, but it's looking like I will, or I do. So, Trek is leaving in two days. As he's chewing on a bone right now. Tricky. Not right now. <clears throat> Trek's leaving in two days. I'm very glad that I went through an organization when I got him because <clears throat> they're helping me through everything that I need help with. But then, it's also very hard because they have the absolute say over what happens to him. And in this particular case, I think they're making the right decision, but that doesn't mean that it's not very hard. So, Trek has some kind of skin condition or allergies or some combination of that. This has been going on since October-ish. He has been on steroids for itching. He's had two different really bad skin infections in which his groin area got big and red and pussy. Um, he's lost, he's pretty much bit off um, the hair and just licked his arms to the point that they don't have hair on them anymore. I mean, it's better now because he's on medication, but he cannot be on the medication that he's on right now forever. So we are trying to figure out a solution because right now he doesn't want to work because he feels like crap. And so he's kind of, he's not doing what he's supposed to do. He's going out and when we got in public, he's all over the place. He is just sniffy and not focused and is he's just all over the place there's another lady with a service dog on campus and every time Trek sees that other dog he's like super he barks and whines and tries to get to the dog and it's not in an, an aggressive fashion but it's definitely not in an aggressive or in a fashion that can be tolerated for a service dog um he also, he's not, he doesn't want to walk through doors right now that I'm holding open. Um, I don't know if he's afraid that they'll shut on him or what, but they've never shut on him before, so I don't know why he's afraid of them now. He doesn't want to put on his harness, and when he puts on his harness and walks in it all day, well, not, I mean, not all day, but he, when he's in it for a while, um, his skin just starts to like fall off like his skin is he just looks like he has like lice or like really bad dandruff that kind of thing um because he's black and then he has all these white dead skin patches everywhere um and then he has his halty and when he has his halty on he's just got um white gross dandruff and stuff um where that rubs so we need to figure that out and then we need to address the behavior problems that he's decided are okay um, during this whole process. And so starting on Friday, he's going to go and live with a foster set up by the company and I am not going to have a service dog which terrifies me. I have had him since July-ish, and we've been together every moment of every day pretty much since then. And it's going to be scary and nerve-wracking, to say the least. Um, not having him around 
and the organization said that it could be a couple, for a couple months and it could be forever. So I don't know if I'll ever get him back, which is terrifying. Um, I'm trying to figure out now, I mean, this wasn't a question I ever wanted to, or at least not a question I wanted to have to answer for a couple years, but will, do I want another service dog? Do I have the emotional capability for another service dog? First, this company matched me with um, a standard, a white standard poodle, and she didn't work out because of behavior problems. Um, but Trek was working out so good, and I've had him for half a year now, and now he's just going to leave, and I don't know. I've already had to give up one service dog, and now I'm going to have to give up another, and I don't know if I want to take that risk again. So I'm trying to figure out if the benefit that I get from having him is worth the possible emotional upheaval of having one. So, I don't know what to say. It is what it is, you know? And it sucks. I feel bad for anybody. I mean, I know people have to retire service dogs all the time for a variety of reasons, but I never, I was not emotionally prepared to, for the possibility that it could be this soon. And I know that for his comfort and for his well-being and things that he, this is something that we need to do, but it's also hard. So, <clears throat> I completely understand people that talk about their service dog's retirement or go into depressions after their service dog retires because it's just it's very, very hard. This is something that you're around every day for an amount of time and and then one day it's just gone. Most people get to slowly phase out their service dog, but I was told yesterday that I would be giving him up tomorrow, Friday. Today is Wednesday. So it's just, it's just very hard. I hope you all have a better day than mine. And comment down below or message me if you want to talk about your old service dog or if you want to give me words of advice or that kind of thing, I would appreciate it because this is going to be really hard and I don't know what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to be here alone in this single room that I have so that I can have track and now it's kind of turned into this empty box, you know? So, I'm nervous, but we'll get through it. Everything will work out. I'll update you guys when I know more. Do you guys like one more video of Trekkers? Trek, is this you? Huh? Yeah, it's you, isn't it? Huh? I know he knows that something's wrong, but I don't think he understands what, and I'm sad because he'll think that I'm just getting rid of him, which I guess I am. I don't want to be getting rid of him, but I have to. So, 